being able to feel where the fulcrum is, that's part of the challenge in Tai Chi. Just learning how to know where the still point is. But you can get good at that. And I'll show you a little tool I use. Here's my axis monitor. So I put this here, and I'll see if I can move my left hip without moving my right hip. Or a switch, put that here, and I can see if we're moving the left hip or the right hip. So you notice that the center, the center line moves when the hip is still. What I don't want is for this to get pushed around like that. Here I'm pivoting around my center line and the axis monitor is getting pushed around showing me that I'm making a mistake. That is having the axis here pivoting around. The, well, that doesn't work because my axis is... never mind. Does this fat make me look fat? I don't know. So, anyway, keeping the hip still is going to be a theme that comes up a lot in Tai Chi. Now, here we have a, a nice handy little heavy bag. And with this, I can show you the concept applied like this. So if I want to engage, I don't want to engage with the class three levers. You'll see this error made a lot in with beginners in, in boxing. Uh, kickboxers and boxers, you'll see this often in the gym, where you've got the new guy comes in and he's hitting the heavy bag as hard as he can meaning he wants to be able to feel the heavy bag move. He wants to feel the, the force. He wants to feel the power. So he tightens up his shoulder, comes up, and he uses these muscles. This is a class three lever. He's at a mechanical disadvantage. And the instructor, she'll come over and she'll say, hey, trust the technique. Don't, <laughs> don't try to prove something to yourself. Prove it to the bag. So she says, come on, get it? Do it right, do it right. Relax, let the structure, let the... Let the posture do the work for you. And, of course, he, she he kind of gets it. She walks away, and then he goes back to... Yeah, 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 and the bag isn't moving, and he's hurting his wrist. And if he puts his body behind it, and he says, oh, I'll put my body behind it, I'll put my body weight behind it, well, that's a real problem, because now you have a lot of power coming from the legs and the waist and so on, and it comes at it, and it's being s held together by these tiny little muscles in the shoulder. And so they come in like this, and they go, ah, like that, and they throw their shoulder out. And they cause no damage at all to the heavy bag. Uh, I made the mistake of demonstrating this once, and I hurt my shoulder. And of course, if you do it this way, you'll hurt your shoulder. And then I did it that way, and I hurt my shoulder. I said, see, don't do it that way. So I have to be careful now. I'm getting older. Don't heal as fast as I used to. So when you punch, if you punch with that class 3 lever, it doesn't matter how much body weight you put behind it, it's still being held together by a really weak link. So you want to maintain that centripetal geodesic. And that centripetal geodesic takes this line that spirals through your body. It doesn't go outside the body. It doesn't go off over there. It spirals around inside the myofascial lines, inside those muscle trains. And then when you swing, at least you're not going to hurt yourself. But you notice what I'm doing here is pivoting around the central axis. So at least I have some kind of connection to the ground. But is that real power? Well, it's not Tai Chi power. It's, some people might call it external power or hard power. It just means you're working too hard. Now, you can cause some damage with this if you have enough body mass and you throw it at the person and it's connected to your body, then you can cause some damage, especially surface problems. But if you want to have Tai Chi power, which lots of martial arts have, but if you want to do that, then you just sit and pivot around the correct axis. So from here, I have this centripetal geodesic that the body is a relaxed in order to be aligned. That's why we relax. We relax so we're not fighting ourselves. And then I just drop my left hip back and the bag moves. So I don't have to put a lot of effort and I don't feel the impact, especially if I make that line extremely thin. So it's like the needle inside the cotton. So now when I just drop back, I'm not actually going at the bag. I'm actually just lining up my hip. I have contact and now I'm moving away from my hip. I'm moving backwards. My center is going that way. That's how levers work. You don't 
get the crowbar in place, and then go in and try to lift up the rock. You don't line up the lever and then throw the lever at the person. You line up the lever and then part of it moves away. Most of it moves away if it's a class one lever. Most of it moves the other way if it's a class two lever. So there's another point here. So here we have Pung. I'm going up and I'm engaging. And I just use the class three levers in my arm to get my hand into position. But while it's moving to work, moving into position, maybe they're there already. So now I'm here. Well, I still, look, I still have that mechanical advantage, even though the class three lever is in the process of raising the arm, but it meets something. Then the class three lever stops, and then the hip drops back. Now I have that power. Okay. So this is that magical Tai Chi power. Right? It, it looks like I'm not doing anything, but that's only because the load is right next to the fulcrum. The fulcrum isn't moving. I'm not going forward. I'm not using a lot of effort. I'm just going like that. So that's pretty simple, right? It's, a, it's, it's physics. It's not magic. It's, well, we, we, I could say it's not chi, but it is chi because chi means energy. In this case, that includes the force of gravity. So that's there. But here's the thing. If you have a mechanical advantage, you don't actually have to apply the force. The other person will apply the force. Remember, in martial arts, there's no difference between offense and defense. There's no mechanical difference between you applying the force when you have a mechanical advantage and the other person applying the force when you have the mechanical advantage. If they're applying the force, that's fine. It's like pushing on a wall. If I am in a good position, they will bounce off or they will put themselves at a disadvantage by causing me to roll in a way that gives me an even better mechanical advantage. Does this make sense? I don't know. Let's see. The idea is that I can move the bag using this class, well, this, uh, in this case, this class one lever, or this class two lever, just by changing the vector a little bit, I change it from a class one to a class two lever. But if I don't move and they are coming towards me, the same mechanical advantage works. I don't have to be applying the force they apply the force and they bounce off me as if they're bouncing off of a wall. Yay, Newton. Action, reaction. So every time there's an action, there's, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And what you do when you have the mechanical advantage is that you make sure that their action causes a reaction that they can feel. If I apply a reaction, but I don't have any connection to the ground, then the reaction is I go... <laughs> I push myself that way, okay? like a rocket shooting fuel out at butt. So, yeah, just like that. So, from here, I can have the mechanical advantage. And if I have the mechanical, mechanical advantage, I've won the fight at that moment anyway. We'll see what they do next. So, here, boom. simple, class one lever class two lever, and that moves the bag more than that does. There. Simple. Okay. That's chi. Cheating. Okay. Now, what I'm doing here is very slow. I'm not moving very fast. There's not a lot of explosive power here. I'm not trying to destroy the, the bag, and I'm trying not to knock it over because the support isn't very strong. This this uh, stand was actually designed to be buried in the ground outside, and I don't happen to have a handy outside where I can bury it now. And I don't have a punching bag stand that uh, is suitable for indoors, really. If you have any questions, uh, you can send them to me or uh, book a private lesson, SinclairInternalArts.com. You know where I am.